everyone welcome to another video a couple of weeks back maybe it was a week ago or two weeks i'm not sure but a couple of weeks back i did a chanel handbag unboxing and in that video i was wearing this very dress which was 35 pounds and i bought it from an instagram account I ended up buying a few more other things from them and they're all really affordable. And also I've bought other things, sort of like ranging up in price, but I thought I would show you all of them collectively because I know loads of you really like this dress. So just a reminder, this is what this dress looks like. It's sort of like, um, it's like a taupey, a taupey beige color. And then on the sleeves, it looks like it's got a shirt under it, but it's it's like a faux design. And then it's got a um, it's got a ribbon on the sleeve. So I bought this dress, ended up buying two more, one in black, one in navy blue, well, sort of like a navy blue. And then there was also a red one. It wasn't bright red and I am thinking about it. This is the second option. Let me just straighten up the sleeves a bit. Exactly the same as before, but it's in black. Personally, I've just put all of these dresses with the same boots. These are the Stuart Wiseman Highland boots. Got them last year on eBay. I got them for an absolute bargain price from the person who hadn't worn them before. They're in the taupe color and I do actually really recommend these boots. They are surprisingly comfortable on. I think the heel is like a 100 millimeter heel or something like that. They don't feel uncomfortable. And what I really like about them is that they fit the leg like a glove, like some boots can end up being quite saggy and baggy. With these, I just find they're really flattering. But anyway, I'm gonna go and change into the blue one now. Then I've got two or three more jumper dresses to show you, and then I've got some tops that are amazing. This is the third dress. Same again, only it's, I'm calling this navy blue, but it's kind of not, is it? What is it? It's a bit lighter than that. Same exact design again, though. These would also be great if you wore them with like black tights. I actually was wearing the black one yesterday with black leggings under it. I don't tend to love dresses and skirts. I just feel more comfortable in jeans, but I've been wearing more dresses recently, more so jumper dresses, and I actually quite like the way they look on, and I feel like I just need to get used to feeling more confident in them. So one of the things I did yesterday with that black one is I put some black Spanx leggings on underneath it. They fit more like a tight, but obviously, not that this would ever happen, but if your skirt got caught or anything like that, who cares? You've got leggings on underneath it, do you know what I mean? So I actually felt very comfortable wearing them yesterday. So there's like lots of different options. I am five foot eight. So if you are wondering how long this is versus my height, then that's that there. I've got three more dresses that I'm gonna show you. One of them, oh my God. Admittedly, this is sadly not from that Instagram account. I have got a couple more things I'm gonna show you from there, but I've just got to show you, this is so nice. Hang on one sec. Just love this dress. I wore it for the first time last week. It is much warmer than those other two I showed you. So the other two that I showed you, I'm not sure that they are wool as such. I think they're, you know that fabric that feels and looks like wool, but it's not whatever that is, cotton or whatever it is. This is proper wool. In fact, is it cashmere? It could be. I got this dress because I was owed a credit from Farfetch. And I was like, they kept emailing me saying it's gonna expire. And I was like, oh, okay. And I went on and had a look and I found this and I couldn't believe the price of it. So this is, um, this is by Pierre Balmain, which is like the next layer down from the really expensive range. But if you want one of those blazers or anything like that, they actually do really good sort of versions of them for, I mean, it's still expensive, but they're like 700 pounds or something. But I saw this dress and it is amazing. It fits so well, it feels so comfortable. One of the things that I really love about it is, another reason why I don't like wearing skirts and dresses is normally because of my height. I find that everything comes up really too short and that's why I don't feel comfortable in them most of the time. But with this, it comes to sort of like on the knee. So if you are tall, and that's also a concern of yours, and you want like a nice fitted, jumper dress that doesn't look too boxy and too baggy but equally isn't like skin tight then i have to recommend this to be honest it's actually quite plain the main detail on it are these buttons which go underneath the arm and i, I quite like the look of that somehow it just looks like it continues it doesn't go onto the back and it's got a slight well it's got a polo neck but it's sort of like flops down over like that it's not dry clean as well which is another thing 
that I'm trying to avoid is I keep buying these clothes. Like I bought this blouse from Karen Millen and it's, it's dry clean and I'm like, it's a shirt for God's sake. I'm gonna wanna wear it quite frequently and the fact it's dry clean makes it really annoying. So I'm trying to avoid that. This isn't, it is hand wash. I've already washed it once on a hand wash setting on the washing machine. It's come out fine. And what I did to dry it is I lay it down flat like on an ironing board and it's come out good. So yeah, this is good. Also those other dresses that I showed you, they are also machine washable and I wash them on a hand wash setting as well. I've already washed the beige one once. The next thing I got that I was really hoping, let me put this down a minute. The next thing I got that I was really hoping I was gonna like because it turned up yesterday, had to pay UK customs on it. And you know, even if you send the item back, you are never getting that tax money back again. I mean, I think you can appeal it, but I tried it once and it was so difficult that I just gave up in the end. But it's turned up. I got this from Shopbop and I like it. It's another jumper dress. This one is cashmere and I don't know if it's showing up. It's not black. It is a very dark green. Because of my height, again, I wanted a dress that was a respectable length for, particularly as well actually, for days where I wanna wear skin colored tights. If I'm wearing leggings or a black colored tight, I don't worry so much. So I got this, the length of it, I love. It's so incredibly warm. It's got a polo neck, cold shoulder details on it. Now, I actually had in mind wearing this with a fedora hat, like a, just like a felt hat. The hat that you can see here, I actually got this from Louisa Via Roma and I got it last autumn. Incidentally, I don't know when I'm gonna get this video out, but incidentally, they've got a 20% off coupon going around at the moment that works on everything. Like, this is why I shop from them every so often. Last summer, yeah, and the summer just gone, I got like 50% off a whole ton of stuff that was brand new. So they're really good to go for. If you, I'll try and look for like a similar hat on there or on anything else, but yeah, if you want 20% off, I'll put the details of it below. This is the last dress, and can you tell? I've been on like a jumper dress thing recently, but I got these boots to go with this. These are, these are from the Outnet, which is like the discount version of Netta Porter, or I think the Outnet, is where anything that doesn't sell on Netta Porter gets sent. But they've got a brand on there that I really like for knitwear and it's called Iris and Ink. I believe that it is a Outnet owned brand because I haven't seen it anywhere else. But I saw these boots on there and I liked them. They're not too high, they are suede. They've got like, um, what are they? They're like leather through and through, sole lining and the outside. I liked the little gold detail here, but particularly I liked the height. I, did, I want something that I can wear out in the day that isn't stupidly too high because I do, I think I do feel more comfortable in heels as opposed to like a flat shoe. But anyway, these are current so you can still get them. And I don't know whether I will wear them with this, but I'll try them for the sake of this. I haven't actually tried either of these things on previously. So the way, the way this dress seems to work is it's quite baggy on the top. It's got quite loose sleeves as well, polo neck. And then it's it looks like you're wearing a separate skirt with it because the skirt is quite a different fit. It's quite slim fitting. In the middle of everything, you've got like an elasticated waistband and that's where you sort of place where you want it and then everything like bags over the top. Back in the summer, some of you may remember this vest top and I did um, I did like a Balmain blazer video and I was wearing this underneath it. And this has been a staple thing that I wear. It's weird, it actually feels like it's knitted. It looks like a vest top, but it actually feels sort of woolly. And what I liked about it is apart from the fact it's a vest top, but it's warmer and I'm in the UK, so I need that. On the front, it's got these stars and they're made out of little crystals, like combination of taupe and blue, I guess you'd say. And I was on that Instagram page. Now I've had loads of you asking me, saying, oh, the stuff you've bought, I can't see it on there. Follow their Instagram story. Some of the stuff I've seen on a picture that they've put up, but most of it I see on an Instagram story and I just DM them and they mail it to me. It's really easy. So if you want anything, then I recommend that's what you do. But anyway, because of this top that I liked, I saw this on there which admittedly I shall be wearing with a top underneath it because I see it now, it's like a little bit see-through. It is a really thin, extra baggy, knitted top. 
I do like it. And do you know what? I might even wear this today. It's so hot out. Can you believe it? It's so hot, but then I know it will turn really cold later. It's nice though. I've just got it on with some really old jeans that I've had in forever. These are from J Brand, I think, and I got them back in 2013. And I've put them with these shoes that you've seen a million times. These, if you can only buy one pair of Christian Louboutin heels, please can I tell you, it has to be these. They are the most comfortable shoe ever. I had that indelible rubber sole put on them, by the way. They did that at Harrods. And these have got like something crazy, like I think he said a lifetime guarantee. And he said that they will not wear out. <laughs> I'm happy with that. I've got three more tops to show you. I feel like I'm saving the best till last. Before I do that, I'm gonna show you the final thing that I got off that Instagram account. It is this jacket. I actually thought, why don't I just wear it with that t-shirt I wish I showed you earlier. This is faux suede and you could get this jacket in like a deep brown color, black and green. Now I actually am quite like, as you saw from that jumper dress earlier, I'm quite liking deep greens at the moment. I got it in a size small. It came in three different sizes from memory. I've got three tops that I got from a company called Style Keepers. I saw them on someone else on Instagram back in May, I think it was. And I was, I always really liked the look of their stuff. I love the style of this shirt. It looks sort of elegant, but at the same time, it looks quite fashionable. You can actually wear it without, I've put a t-shirt under it, but you don't have to do that. I've chosen to do that because it's very low cut. This is the next top. And I know right now this looks a bit extra, but actually from afar, it looks better. It's sort of like a Basque type top. It, it zips up at the back. It's got like an elasticated back on it. So it doesn't feel too tight, but it's very nice and like figure hug hugging. It actually fits like a corset. You know how they put, I don't know if that is or if they've, no, I think it is. You know when they've put like those plastic rods in it so that it pulls you in. It fits so well. I was gonna say with this brand, the sizing comes up, in my opinion, quite small. So I've taken everything in a medium. If you wanna see close-ups of any of these tops, by the way, I've done a whole blog post with photos and everything to go with it. I'm gonna link to it below. This is my final top and it's my absolute favorite. I actually got this because I have an intention to wear this for New Year's Eve. Not that I was thinking that far ahead. It's just that I saw it and I thought that would be a perfect thing to wear because when I show you it here, I don't know if you can sort of see see it how I see it, but it reminds me almost of like, it's sort of like a tuxedo, like it's very smart, it's very styled, but I'm planning on wearing it with smart fitted trousers and heels, because I'm not really like a skirt or a dress person. And I love, I love the elegance of it, but it doesn't make me feel overly girly. This was really fun to film. I hope you've enjoyed it. This actually reminds me of those 10K days back when I would sort of back up in a room and like try and show you what I was wearing. It actually sort of reminds me of that, but hopefully better production. Everything that I've shown, I'm gonna link to below. I'm not really wearing any jewelry today. My watch, I'm wearing my black jawed watch with, um, with the gold details on it today because the outfit, I'm going out in a minute, and the outfit I'm planning on wearing is quite monochrome, so I wanted this to go with it, but actually goes quite nicely with this top. Thank you all so much for watching. It is massively appreciated. I hope that if you're looking for inspiration for the autumn months, you found something here, or maybe you've just had fun hanging out. Thank you again, and I will see you in the next video.